met of all places in front of Christidi some freakishly cold winter's day. I had on several unflattering layers of wool. He slipped on the ice with his grocery bags full. So I rescued some fruit loops he dropped by the curb. And he made some remark that my smile was superb. And I thought that was sweet. And I started to go when he said, hey, what you doing tomorrow? Because I'll be here at the corner of Bleecker and Mercer tomorrow at 7. If you want to meet up, I'll be waiting right here. And in case there are two fellas waiting for you, my name's John. He waved, and then he was gone. Needless to say, I went back there to meet him, mostly to see if he'd show. There he was, out in the cold with his jacket pulled tight. He took me to dinner and kissed me goodnight. The next week we went to this terrible play, and the week after that drank hot chocolate all day. And suddenly eight or nine months had flown by when he said, hey, what you do in the rest of your life? Because I'll be here right beside you as long as you want me to be. There's no question. There is nothing I've wanted so much in my life. This might sound immature, but I'm totally sure you're the one. And we had just begun. We got hitched in September, our favorite month, with a rock band that played in this old synagogue. And we bought an apartment on West 17th Street and talked about children and getting a dog. We promised to take the day off. He had to stop into his office that morning, and so I went walking uptown to this bakery I know. When I heard on the street what I thought was a joke, till I noticed the sirens and saw the smoke. So I'm running back home with this feeling of dread to the voicemail he left. With the last words he said, I'm sorry, I don't mean to ruin your evening by bringing up all of this stuff. You're probably wondering why I even called you tonight. Well, today, something happened that spooked me all right. I discovered his fruit loop still there on the shelf. And I cried, and I couldn't get hold of myself. When sure as I breathe, I heard John clear as day, saying, hey, you're allowed to move on. It's okay, because I'll be here. Even if you decide to get rid of my favorite sweater, even if you go out on my birthday this year, instead of sitting at home, Letting all of life's moments pass by. You don't have to cry because I'll be here. When you start going back to the places we went to together. When you take off my ring and you let yourself smile. When you meet someone handsome and patient and true. When he says that he wants to be married to you. When he calls you one night and he meets you downtown When you finally answer him yes Yes, Jason I will marry you I will give you my heart It has taken so long But I'm ready to start Right now John's whispering congrats in my ear Cause I finally let myself tell you That I will be